Hello there, uh, viewers, and uh, welcome back. This is part two of the um, CRT TV hack, um, how to make it into like a miniature or whatever, uh, spectrum analyzer, or just for whatever you want to call it. But um, anyway, this video is probably going to be short um, as it's very basic and simple. Um, this is regarding to how to make the connections on this to make this function, um, like how I had showed in part one um if you haven't watched part one go um go watch part one link is down in the description but um back to what i was saying in part one earlier in the video is all you really need like i said is just you you have your audio amplifier um now of course as you can see here this is how i have the what you call it the uh audio in hooked up i just drilled some holes through the chassis here screwed it in bam Got a uh, DC barrel jack um, for the 12 volts in. Uh, there you go, bam. Now for the electrical side to make this functional, um, of course when you're messing around in here, be careful. Make sure it's unplugged. This is unplugged. Though I did did just turn it off, but um, I'm not gonna be touching anything like on the high voltage side at the moment. But all pretty much all you do is you see these the uh, red and blue wire here. This is going to the electron um, deflection um, guide. I'm pretty sure there's a pro professional term, but I'm just trying to do this as quick as possible. But this is what makes the picture. This is your electron gun. This is what fires the red, green, and blue electron into the front of the tube. And then you got your phosphors and stuff, and then your mesh screen, all that whatnot in there. But this is what controls the horizontal and the vertical, which makes the picture appear. Because if you didn't have this, all you would have is just a white dot in the middle of the screen. Um, this is usually um, also most CRTs get thrown out because um, the the white dot de the white whatever you want to call it white dot of death. Um, and really, all it is is probably something down in the circuitry here um, has failed on the electron beam. Um, I'm gonna just call it a waveguide, uh, which pretty much deflects controls how you know up or up and down um, x x and y axes of the, um, the 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 picture tube but anyway but if you snip one um, of the, one line of this there's just two coils as you can see here there's this one and this one um, one controls um, horizontal and vertical but as you can see we we snipped the horizontal one now you can do this by uh, as you can see here these are individually plugged in so you have one for the horizontal and one for the vertical now sometimes yours may be different it may actually be two hooked up uh, like one socket um, all together and not individually but um, all you have to do is you just take this little cover off right here and you can see the coils uh, down in here the um, connections for them if my camera will focus for you um, You can just follow which you know the tracers. I don't know if that's gonna focus right here Like that you can see the windings wire going up to this For the one down here and then the other one and or you can just measure the impedance across them and um, As long as they're the same impedance or you know like a normal uh, continuity test um, then all you can do is just pull the plug off and then disconnect those two wires which ones make connectivity plug it back in of course wrap some electrical tape around it and see what that controls now if it's the horizontal one then you'll just have the vertical line but if you have the vertical then you'll just have the horizontal line the one that goes across the screen left to right instead of up and down and then you can just you know it's not that hard it seems complicated but it's not but uh, and that's pretty much all you do and then you just connect that one to the amplifier circuitry up here through one of the channels and then if you want to hook the speaker down in the TV which I've taken this one out so I don't need it um, we can just do that and there you go you got it all in one now if you want you can make it nice and neat like you see I have space up here I could have put it down in here but um, this was like I said I, I made this thing two years ago this is before I really um, I guess was neat with things I just kind of stuck it together um, just as an amateur project and um, if it worked it worked but um, it is very messy but you can put it in a project box if you want but um, it, that's pretty much it uh, all that's pretty much all there is to it uh, there's no need to have some crazy you know electronical experience 
or electronics experience in electronics um it's just a basically two wires uh or well, actually four um find which winding controls what what you just got two windings and which wires go to that winding and then remove the winding that you need and that's pretty much it that's all you need and um you're just you're ready to go but um i hope you enjoyed the video i hope this was helpful um thanks for watching